And welcome to The Factor Uncensored, a Factor exclusive tonight. A prominent Houston businessman says because he is Jewish, his businesses were targeted by what appears to be pro-Palestinian vandals. Ben Berg, who owns B&B Butchers and B&B Lemon, along with 12 other restaurants, says during the storm last week, criminals threw red paint on at least three of his businesses. They also posted signs reading Free Palestine while also displaying dead children saying murdered by Israel. Berg says he believes it's coordinated when we were at our most vulnerable and he wants them arrested. It. They're blaming him for the deaths in the war in Gaza. And this is our question. Is this America? I spoke with Ben today. Let's take a look. So, Ben, to go through yes. the storm and get damage from the storm, not significant, yes. no. but enough to make you pay attention, right. and then have this vandalism, uh, what were your thoughts coming back? I mean, we were just kind of like astonished. I mean, you know, that, that Thursday night, everything hit all at once. Some restaurants lost all their power. First thing in the morning, you know, you're up seeing the damage. Our first restaurant, Trattoria Sophia. And then we saw all this red paint splatter. And all this kind of propaganda stickers posted all over. And really just kind of blown away that this would happen on a natural disaster and it's not very Houstonian. Right, right. You know? People took advantage of the situation and for them to target you, Correct. you're not a, a political guy where everyone's saying, well, Ben Berg is saying yeah. this and doing that. As in, my last name is Berg, but I'm in hospitality. We're inclusive to everybody. Like Houston has been the best city to me. You know, we employ over a thousand people. We employ all faiths, creed, color. We invite everybody in. What goes on somewhere else, that's not, that's not about me. <laughs> you know? Is that hurtful to you that you have been targeted because of your heritage? I think it is, yeah. And that's why I want to speak out. You know, there's plenty of business owners out there. You know, it could be somebody who's Muslim. It could be anybody out there, Asian, whatever. If they're targeted because of who they are, that's not right. And then especially where Houston always comes together during natural disasters, I think this city is incredible. But to do it when this is going on, I mean, I think it's disgusting. And how many businesses did they hit? And do you feel like it was a coordinated effort? I mean, I feel it was coordinated. They hit one business our first, the first night, the night of the storm. And then, you know, we had announced two restaurants that had lost power and we couldn't open. And that following night, Friday night, we came up, our corporate office was hit, and our restaurant BB Lemon was hit, and that one was hit pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we're just talking about some paint. You could easily get that removed, but it's a disappointment. It's almost the hate that you're getting. Well, our employees don't, yeah, it's hate. And I, you know, I don't want our employees to be scared to come to work. You know, we're about hospitality. You know, we come with open arms for everybody that comes in, and that's what we try to preach. Um, I don't want our guests to feel uncomfortable, um, but it's, it's more than vandalism. I mean, the stickers and this, they even broke our sign where we're standing here with paint and breaking neon, which is not easy to fix. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, it just escalated and I'm not really sure why. What do you do now? How do you address this long term? I mean, long term, we want to talk to our, our, our employees and just say, you know, listen, we're here for our guests. I'm not a political guy. There's, there's people a lot smarter than me trying to figure stuff out. But we just want to make this city better. Um, the city's given so much to me that uh, I want to give back. That's it. And, and for them to take, and we don't know who they are yet, right. but for them to take advantage of the vulnerability of the city right. when we are in, dark, in the dark, many people are stuck at home without power, but they had time to come, go from business to business. That's really, that's really the part where I want to speak out and kind of reach out because that's not who this city is. That's not what America is. But especially Houston, we come together mm -hmm. during storms and like you know natural disasters. And to come out and do something like this, 
you know, especially when they know we have no power, no cameras. Obviously, many of your establishments, you guys already have private security. Yeah. Do you, would you consider, like, extending that private security to make sure this doesn't happen again? Uh, I mean, unfortunately, yes. I mean, one, I'd love to catch them, mm -hmm. right? Just, just me, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, we run on thin margins, uh, but, you know, the, for the safety of our employees, the safety of our guests, and it's just wrong. Yeah, I think, you know, we're, we're looking at more private security when we normally wouldn't have it. And so how do you move forward mentally you know, with someone singling you out, victimizing you right. just because of who you are? Not because of what you said, not because of what you've done, right. but just because of your being. How I mean, do you get past that mentally? I think we just keep doing what we're doing. Keep serving the city, keep serving our employees. Uh, we're not going to change what we do and what we stand for. And, and, and that's just trying to make the city a better place.